By now we are experts on this quadrilateral called a parallelogram and so let's see how we'll do this question. So they tell us that ABCD is a parallelogram so straight away if it is a parallelogram it means the following. Okay, so we've got those four properties there. And then they also tell us that ED is equal to DC. Now, very often they'll do that in the test. They'll show it to you on the diagram, and then they'll just confirm it in the description, okay? So the, the point of this is, um, exercise is to determine the angle D. And so remember, because this is a parallelogram, it means that the opposite sides are parallel. So we can show that like this. And so can you see the following little Z? Well, because these lines are parallel, we can use that Z, and so we can say that this angle here, now because I haven't given you a 1 or a 2, you don't want to say E1 or E2, what you want to do is look at it like this. You could imagine starting at D, going all the way to E, and then going down to C. What corner have you just formed? Well, you've formed that corner over there. So that angle will be called D, E, C. So what we can say is that angle D, E, C, with a little corner on top of the E like that, is going to be equal to 80 degrees. Now the reason for that is alternating angles. So we can just say alt angles and the sides that are parallel would be AD parallel to BC. In the triangle, we can see that it's an isosceles triangle. Now an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides that are equal. Now the way that that works in maths is that if a triangle has two sides that are the same, then it has two angles that are the same. Which angles, you may be asking? Well, it's the angles that are opposite those sides. So this 80, well, that's directly opposite that side, and this side is directly opposite this angle over here. So that angle is also going to be 80 degrees. And so we can say that angle E, C, D is going to be equal to 80 degrees. Now, in the past, we used to say isosceles triangle, but for some reason, the department has asked us to stop using that. And so what we say now is the following. We say that it is 80 degrees because of equal, oh no, we can actually just show the equal sign, sorry. Equal angles, opposite, equal sides. So what we're saying is that the angles that are opposite these two sides or well, these equal sides are also going to be equal. So equal angles, meaning that the angles are the same, equal angles are opposite equal sides. And so in that triangle, we know that all three of those angles should add up to 180. So we can say that angle D is equal to 180 minus 80 minus 80. And the reason for that is the sum of angles in a triangle. And so if you had to go calculate that, you would end up with D being 20 degrees. The next question asks us to find angle A, which is this one over here. Well, we know that because it's a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel, so we can fill in these over here. And then what shape do we see over here? Well, that's the U, right? So remember when you have parallel lines, you can think of the word fun. And if you have a U, well, the U always adds up to 180. And so we can say that angle A is going to be equal to 180 minus D, which is 20 degrees. And the reason for that is co-interior angles. So we say co-int angles. And the two sides that are parallel is DC parallel to AB. And so therefore, angle A is going to have a value of 160 degrees.